Hi there, my name is Chad, and this is your tutorial for the week. This week, I'm going to shift gears and do things a little bit differently. I'm going to start producing some longer videos here that sort of link together. And so this is going to be the first video in a course or series of sorts. And today, all I'm going to do is just sketch out a character using Adobe Sketch. For my own projects, when I start with designing a character, I open up Adobe Sketch on my iPad Pro, which is right here, as you can see, and I sketch out a character, and I do that for my backgrounds as well. So I figured I would just share my process. Now, I'm not a professional artist, or even I would consider myself a professional animator. I really just do this for my own projects and for the tutorials that I create. So it's my own process and my own style, and it's probably not going to be as polished as some other tutorials. However, if you are interested, I'm glad you're here to follow along. So with that said, I'm going to jump in and get started. I'm currently inside of Adobe Sketch. One of the reasons why I like this app so much is I can hit the share button at the top here and I can share directly to Photoshop and Illustrator. So that is a great little feature to have. But with that said, I'm going to just start sketching out. On the left side, I have my brushes and I want to use the pencil brush since I'm sketching. So I'll tap on that and I have my size and flow set as well as the color. On the top right is the full screen button. I'll just tap on that and we're now in full screen and I can get started. When I first start sketching a character, I always start with the head. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here yet. I'm just going to come in and start doing something. So I could come in and create an oval with this. Maybe come down and just shape it however I see fit. So perhaps something like that. Now, I'll create a second oval. This will be for the lower portion of the head. Let's see here, come in. Again, it's, you don't have to have the cleanest looking design when you're sketching things out. Again, this is going to be used as a reference for when I want to start filling in the lines and creating different colors for the character. But we'll go with this for right now. Let's try to get it as smooth as I can. After this, I usually jump to the body so I can get that figured out. So I'll come in and we're just going to start drawing things out. Something like that. Now coming in with the body. Just kind of swing it around like so. Just come up and attach to the neck like that. Now I will come in with the arm. Just bring it down like this. Try to get the hand here. That's a little bit rough, but just as long as I have the idea there, I can clean that up and correct it when I go to Adobe Draw. So we have that, and then I can do the legs. So let's come in. Just draw it out like that. Get the shoe in there. And 
And then you would have the second leg over here somewhere. So we'll just come in and sketch that in as well. Something like that. And then let's come in and try to make it look as close as to the front leg as possible. So something like that. Something like that. There is a back arm, but in the case of the sketch, we'll leave that out for right now. Now I'm going to come in and start figuring out this character. So I'll just add some guides here for where I'm going to have the facial features. So it kind of comes down like that. Kind of over like that. So I'll have the eyes right about here. Let's come in. Add some eyes. Maybe do something with the eyebrows here. Actually, I'm not quite a fan of what I just did with that second eyebrow. The great thing about Adobe Sketch and Adobe Draw is if you make a mistake, you can just use two fingers and swipe left. So I'm just going to swipe left to undo and keep doing that until it is gone. And then I can come in and make that correction. So I'll bring it up like that. I'm going to come in, draw a nose. Going down. And up like that. And then the mouth would come down from that. Something like that. And then we'll have the ears over here. And the second ear would probably be over here somewhere. So like that. Maybe add some glasses. Maybe out just a little bit more. So it'd be something like that. And actually, I'm going to tap the full screen button, tap on my brush, come down to the eraser, tap on that again to go into the settings, and then tap and hold on size, and then move down to decrease the size to about 10. I'll tap the full screen button again, come back in, and we're just going to make this correction. Now it's kind of hard to tell because of the touch guide I have on, which I did for the tutorial. So I'm going to zoom in, which I can do by placing two fingers down on the canvas and then spreading my fingers out. So I'll just zoom in and I'll just get rid of that line. Even though it's a sketch, I just kind of just want to get rid of that really thick dark line right there. Something like that. Again, it's not perfect, but I can make the corrections needed then when it's time to actually do this in Adobe Draw. Bring that up. And then just kind of bring something out like that for right now. There we go. Then let's do some more facial features here before we wrap up. Oh, maybe I'll give him a mustache. I'm going to undo that and try that again. There we go. So then I'll come back and maybe make his eyebrows a little bit more bushy. Something like that. I can add some lines to the forehead, so something like that. And then I'm going to come in and draw in some hair, but not a whole lot since I'm drawing what appears to be an older character here. So we'll just come in. Draw a sideburn like that. It can come up. Maybe end it right about there. Kind of 
bring the hair down, make it a little bit crazy. Kind of comes up like that then. And then at the front end of the head, I could come in and maybe add some hairs like that. And then I could do the same on the other side as well. Just a little bit though, not the whole thing. So you just kind of see the hair come up and also kind of go like that. And just kind of go back down. Add in lines for under the eyes, maybe a line right here for the mouth, perhaps one under the mouth as well. There we are. And then for the body, we could also come in and fill in some details. So perhaps he has his pants way up high. I'll kind of start right here. Just kind of bring it up like that. Perhaps that's where his belt is right there. We can also sketch in a shirt line, so I'll just come down. You can kind of bring it down like that and bring it up. Kind of bring it out and in like that. And then we can add in some chest hairs. <laughs> Why not, right? All right, there we go. So this is looking pretty good for the sketch. And again, there are more details I could fill in while doing this. But I think this is good for now. Hopefully, by watching this, you now have some idea of where to begin when it comes to designing characters for animation. Again, I did this just kind of on the fly. I really had no idea what I was doing when I jumped into this. It's a little bit rough but we will make those corrections next week when we take it into Adobe Draw. Also, you don't have to use an iPad Pro. You can do this on a piece of paper using a pencil. You could scan that in and then take it into a piece of software like Illustrator or Photoshop, and you can follow along using similar steps when I'm inside of Adobe Draw next week. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Please leave your comments, and I will read them, and yeah, I'll read them. <laughs> So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.